Good evening, we're back with more Marvel Snap. Beginning the evening at rank 74, and continuing to play the ongoing deck, which has been climbing very successfully up to this point, and we'll see how it goes. The goal of this deck is to simply stack up on two lanes, and mostly ignore the third lane. Okay, let's go with Angela to start, and then likely Mr. Fantastic and Warpath. Warpath, Claw, Spectrum. My opponent just lost Claw. Let's see what Expansion gives. Lady Sif and zero. I want my opponent lost a card though, so I'd say he probably lost that exchange. Well, so my opponent's gonna have seven, eight, nine, thirteen at X Man or at uh, Monster Metropolis. Let's see if he continues. Oh. Remove the abilities of the next card you play. Uh, that is not good. <laughs> not good at all. So let's go Colossus and Nightcrawler instead. But I do have, I can go Claw and then Spectrum to buy Frost. Or I could go Warpath Ant-Man to buy Frost and then play Claw next round. Warpath Ant-Man would put me up I Ant-Man would go to Expansion, I, I think. So I'd be up by 11 at Bifrost. Up by... 9? 10 at Expansion? I think I like Claw a little more. Okay, so does my opponent have the Apocalypse? Be 8 power, so... Now I think I'm gonna go... No, Warpath is no good because... 0. So that's 7. I'll be up by 10 at Bifrost. 12 at Expansion. I'd like to be up by a little bit more at Bifrost because I think that's where my opponent's play will go. Okay. Isle of Silence. Atlantis, okay. We'll start our stack there. I 
That's fine. That's actually good for me because Shang-Chi is quite good against the monster. He's a 4-9. Well, 4-12 against the monster, which is very good. So I'm gonna go Warpath, and then probably Shank, and then Claw, and then Shang Chi Lizard. I think. Okay, so it's Angela. Okay. Interesting. I thought that my opponent would think that Monster Island was winnable. Maybe all he had was Blue Marvel? Uh, maybe he knew I had Shang-Chi. Maybe I should have snapped on turn 5. I thought about it. Facing a movement deck. Wind. Interesting. He wants to turn off Superflow. I actually don't know if playing Lizard there was a good play now that I think about it. Hmm. Well, Vulture's not on the table yet, so I'll play Shang-Chi here. I don't really like it. Do I want to go Nightcrawler to Flooded? It'll be plus four. I think I do. Buffed Craven. I don't really like this enough to snap. My opponent had a blank turn 5. Could he be playing Infinite? That doesn't win. I'm confused. How does my opponent win this? I mean, 
mean, Heimdall does nothing. Wins Crimson Cosmos. Okay. doesn't really change anything. Lizard will be good there. Sunspot likely to get big enough for me to Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi should be good at Shuri's lab, but we'll see. Avengers! Oh yeah. Shang-Chi will be quite good there. So let's focus on other lanes at this point. Perfect, it got to nine. I like my plays here. point in playing Angela. Hmm, should I actually move Nightcrawler? They'll put me at 15 to 2. Oh no, that's fine. Well, so far so good. Not the squirrels. They ruined my war path. That's pretty good, the Onslaught Citadel. Avengers. Is this a mirror matchup? B. 
be a mirror matchup. Yep, my opponent's got Warpath as well. I have Iron Man, but I don't have a good turn 6 play. So I'm not going to snap here. Do I want Iron Man mid? I mean, I think so. I'll definitely win mid. But I'm actually worried that I might need him uh, Central Park more. I'm going to play him to Central Park, even though he would be doubled twice at Onslaught Citadel. I, I think he's needed at Central Park more. I am Iron Man. That's what I was hoping for, Claw. Best case scenario there. My opponent played Claw as well, I think I would lose. Okay. Victory. playing him to Space Throne because it's a known entity. I can't get burned by something weird from the next location. I'll go for, see that put me at 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 to his 6. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for it. Go for the holla play. will copy the multiple man, but the other card should get destroyed. So what do I want to do here? Claw, Iron Man. Looks like the play. Thinking Claw at Hala. Now he killed my Warpath. And. He's playing Spectrum. Okay. Actually, do I even need to do that? Can just play Claw there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Was not expecting that hand.
Boo rock. Looking at a destruction deck. Armor would definitely be better than Angela in this situation. Well, that may have happened before he wanted it to. Do I want to play the rock here? I don't think so. Look. <laughs> Well, that's rough. I've been there. I guess it's Shane Chi here. I'm sad though. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. I don't like my plays that much either. Up by eight, up by thirteen. Yep. Victory. Well, thanks, rocks. Same player. Hopefully you have better luck, sir. Oh, rip Iron Man. Hmm, interesting. Well, start with Angela. Dr. Octopus, I think, is pretty good. I think I'll play Psylocke next turn. We'll see. Your cards can't have their power reduced. Interesting. Is he playing Hazmat? play Psylocke, Colossus, or Captain America. I think it's got to be Captain America. Avengers! Yeah, destroying the ninja is pretty good there. Now, how do I want to use Doc Oc Dr. Octopus here? I've got Spectrum for turn 6. Play him on Oz. How many hand cards does he have in hand? He's snapping here. Let's see what happens.
Interesting. There's no cards left in hand. So can I win this? Three, four, five to Triskelion. Five to Shadowlands. No, that doesn't do it. Six there. No, that doesn't do it. Maybe Doc Ock to Oscorp Tower was the wrong play. Shang-Chi to Oscorp Tower combined with Lizard. I like that enough to give it a whirl. Looks like it's gonna work. If Captain if America Chavez had gone to Triskelion, I would have lost though. <laughs> Interesting. I was just about to retreat. I'm not going to hold Nightcrawler here. This is a low curve hand. So depending on what I top deck, I probably will have mana to float later and Nightcrawler could have been used to buff Angela. But it really depends on what I top deck. So as of this moment, I wish I had held back Nightcrawler, but let's see what I draw next turn. blank turn. Avengers! Another blank turn? What? Okay. Just drew a terrible hand, I guess. That's a bummer. Chi for Nidavolir. We'll see. See if he plays anything I can Shang Chi. He's committing to Nidifolir. Oh yeah, for sure. Assemble. Interesting. I do like my plays.
great. on turn one because it gives the opponent plenty of opportunity to stack up on the location and trigger his ongoing effect, but I don't want to float the mana either. Storm. Well, I can't go for the surprise warpath play because I've already committed to two locations, so I'll just let him have that location and maybe I'll sneak a win with Claw or something. We'll see. Oh, he figured I would play there, so he played Guardians. Well, that's fine. What is my opponent thinking about? Oh, he was thinking about where to put the Gamora. It doesn't matter though because I've got the Spectrum. No, not the Spectrum because I've got the Shang-Chi for turn uh, six. So Gamora is going to get huge here. Will that tempt my opponent to snap? We'll play Angela, Ant-Man to Washington DC along with Shang-Chi. Oh, that's a good play. He reveals first, so the Cosmo protects the Gamora. Wow, he should have snapped with that play. Absolutely would have gotten eight cubes off of me. Good play. Nothing I could have done about that. Yeah, but you should have snapped. <laughs> I have, if you are not going to snap in that situation, I am not sure when you ever would, which is an interesting, interesting strategy, I would say. But good play. No squirrels. So why did my opponent reveal, oh, he revealed first because he was ahead, of course. Yep, makes sense. Ongoing effects are disabled there. So my opponent's playing a destruction lane, so. Psylocke. Okay, so this opponent has pool three cards. I 
have my own warpath. Which I will play. Should I play to Isle of Silence? Or go Titan? Let's go Titan. Now that was very interesting last game. Typically saving the Cosmo for a turn six play would be a play you would do because you want to snap and you want your opponent to snap as well. And then you hit them with the Cosmo on turn six, take all their cubes. Lizard's only good for two here, but he could be buffed by Spectrum later. I really don't like my position very much here. I'm going to go for Central Park Isle of Silence because I think my opponent will play to flooding here. In fact, I'm almost positive he will. He didn't. He flooded that location only to ignore it. three cards. I think I've played the tie-dye before so that does mean it's not a bot since you don't play bots twice. At least I think you don't. I don't want to stack up on danger room. Oh, I did not want Claw there. Does not make use of his ongoing ability at all. At least he was plus two power. My opponent got White Tiger, but at least the Tiger Spirit went to Danger Room. Well, I have four, five, and six plays, and they're not bad. Okay. Good, hit the Shang-Chi and not the Iron Man. Sakara is going to need more help. I'm sure my opponent's planning on Odining at Sakara, and he likely has it in hand. So let's wait to see what he plays before snapping. Mora is good. So if he plays Odin to Sakar, I play Shang Chi. What if I play Gamora and go up by seven? So that's fourteen. 18, 21, to his, so I'll be at 7, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 34 to my opponent's 25, 29, plus 6. Yeah, I like it. I think I just overpower my opponent here, but I'm not 100% sure of the math. Oh, Odin's plus 2. Does that make a difference? Might depend on the Ironheart buff. Yeah, I don't have it. Oh, I do have it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why I didn't snap. I wasn't sure of the math. The plus two on Odin caught me off guard. And I couldn't predict where the Ironheart was going to go. And so I had more power than I was expecting. How did I arrive at 32? I calculated 7 plus 6 is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, but I had more than that. Why? Oh, I forgot about the Mr. Fantastic, the plus 2, plus 2, so that's where the 38. Yeah, I probably would have snapped if I had calculated it correctly, but I wasn't confident in the math, so... I did not snap also. Well, went pretty smooth tonight in terms of the win-loss ratio. Left some cubes on the table, I think, in some cases with a overly conservative snap strategy. But overall, I'm happy with it. We're making progress, and I think I only lost one game for this video. So, thank you for watching.